Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We like to rejoice and be glad. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living in the house of the Lord tonight. We are living
Lord, in the name God, we ask that you will be with us, God. We will bring the bread of life over us, God. We ask that you will give us the hell, God. And you will be with us, God. We ask that the atmosphere will be set in such a way that makes preaching easy. We will cast God to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our scripture this evening will come from the book of John, chapters 14, verses 1, 11 through 20. Book of John, chapters 14, verses 11 through 15. And it reads, Believe in me. When I say I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Verily, I tell you, whosoever believe me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater than these. Because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, yes, yes. so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in your name, and then I will do it. If you love me, keep my commands. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Anybody thank God for the words tonight? Oh, my God. 
Amen. If you're watching virtually, you would like to be a blessing. Amen. If you're still old school, you may mail your gifts to the P.O. Box 5594, Columbia, South Carolina, 29250. Amen. And if you're in the sanctuary, my brothers and sisters, you may give in this moment as well because cash and check is still acceptable. Amen. And so, my brothers and sisters, if you prepare to give, amen, electronically or by the envelope, we ask that you lift it up at some point of contact. And if you don't have anything, just lift your hands, amen, and repeat these words. Say, God, I thank you for allowing me to be a blessing to St. James Church. Now, God, multiply, sanctify, use it. For your glory and for your life. This I ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And thank God. At this time, I must sure will come and you will be prepared as our musicians begin to play. Amen. Amen. If you give it, we ask that you use the class leader system. If you have check or cash, you pass your gifts to the center aisle. And our usher will come, amen, and receive those gifts at this time. Our music ministry will render a selection at this time. Right hands in the direction of you believe in sitting. 
and let's give it his marching order, saying, preach, master, preach the word, in Jesus' name, amen. And I promise you, my beloved, if you work and pray right, I promise you, you will see a word in this house. After the singing of this song, let's say amen, of Martin just to soar, the next voice you will hear will be God's preacher, God's man of God, God's liberated preacher, and the personality of the Reverend Dr. Robert C. Scott of the St. Paul Baptist Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. Hear ye him. Amen. Praise the Lord again. I want to sing this song. We all are probably going to the radio. It says, Keep your sword in your hand. You fight on. All right? We're going to sing it again. All right? Come on back to the hand. Keep your
So I want to, if I could, I want to lift up from the uh, pages of the New Testament lore uh, in Luke chapter 5, uh, verses 1 through 11. Uh, it's a story about uh, Peter and Andrew, James and John having gone to fishing and having that to show for their efforts and for their works. And I want to kind of lift that for tonight and see, and see what it is the Lord will have for us to know. And so Luke chapter 5, I'll be reading tonight from the New King James Version of the Word of God. And it reads like this. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God that he stood by the lake of the Nazareth and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their hands. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the lake. He sat down and taught the multitudes from the boat. When he stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Watch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we talked all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats, and so they began to sink. And Simon saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, The Lord for me, for I am a sinful man. For he and the boat were with him, were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And his brother and Andrew, and Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid, from now on you will catch men. So when they had brought their boats to the land, they forsook all and followed Jesus. I want to preach for the time that is mine, getting more than you bargained for. Getting more than you bargained for. We solicit your prayers. Dr. Kenley, I would submit that too many people inside as well as outside of our churches, uh, those who profess to have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, we really expect too little from God. In other words, we have placed our human limitations upon the sovereign and divine God. We have placed God in our little boxes based upon our limited perceptions and our skewed reality. It is our limited perceptions that have caused many of us not to really trust God to the point of receiving the full manifestation of what God wants to do with us, through us, and ultimately in us. In other words, we lack faith. And faith is coupled with low expectations, which ultimately causes us to live beneath our means, below our dignity, and beyond our destiny. And I'm here to let you know, St. James, that it really breaks the heart of God when you and I don't trust God the way we should or have high hopes because we've been disappointed by people and situations. To the point that we think God is going to do the same thing folks have done to us. The problem is, too many of us expect so little from a sovereign and omnipotent God. But we're told in the scriptures that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So when you and I get serious about embarking upon a journey with God, you should be ready for God to do the unexpected in your life. And I know I got a few folks around St. James that are afraid to testify that there are times when you've seen God demonstrate how awesome, how powerful, and how magnificent God is just to blow your ever-loving mind. Our problem is we have low expectations of ourselves and others around us 
Amen. We've allowed for that to be placed upon our God. In psychology, there is a term called transference, in which the feelings of one person that does not apply to that person is transferred to them because of similar situations you've gone through. Essentially, the person in your present is treated as though they were a person in your past. And so ultimately, what many of us do in the church is a spiritual transference to God because others have disappointed us. And since others have disappointed us, we are under the erroneous assumption that God is going to do the same thing. This is because we have failed, and because we have failed, we know others have failed us. And what we ultimately wind up doing is transferring failure to the God who cannot fail. We transfer our low expectations to this sovereign and omnipotent God. I think I've got about three of y'all that will testify like the psalmist did in Psalm 37 when he said, I was young, but now I'm old, and I've never seen a righteous forsaken, nor see begging for bread. There are many among us who can testify to the faithfulness and the goodness of God, even when we did not deserve it. And we know that God has been more than faithful and has been more than fulfilling to us, even when we messed up, falling short, backslide, disregarding God's word, God's will, and God's ways. You have seen God do the miraculous in your messy, ragged life, and you know you got more than you deserve. But as a matter of fact, many of us have to testify we've got more than we bargained for. Life has this capacity to teach us a very powerful lesson. You get what you expect. You start dwelling on the positive spiritual things and life, your life will move in that direction. But if you continue to think on negative, funky things, you will have a negative, funky life. If you expect defeat, you're going to get defeat. If you expect disappointment, you're going to get disappointment. If you expect failure, you're going to get failure. If you expect mediocrity, you're going to get mediocrity. Because your subconscious will make sure you fall in front every time you try to do that. You got to change your thinking before you can ever change your living. And it's hard when you have spent a lifetime accustomed to low living, average thinking with an attitude we ain't never done it like this before. And that's church folks number one. It has a lot of us in prison in our minds, thereby hindering us from becoming all that God has called and commissioned for us to be. Many of us can't even claim the one of the destiny that God has for us because we are caught up in that mentality. This is the best I can expect. It ain't going to get no better. Might as well sit down, shut up, be quiet, and endure the hell that I'm going through. That's why we're in the mess that we're in right now. Now, you don't have to have an attitude of this is as good as it gets when we serve a great God who is able to do good in your situation. And I'm here to let somebody know that the God we serve, your God, my God, our God, uh, is able to do more than we can ever imagine. God wants to bless you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to enrich you. God wants to empower you. God wants to lead you. God wants to elevate you. But our problem is, here it is, we've been down so long until we're getting up and even on our minds. The problem with failure is that we don't know how to properly process failure. We allow for failure and frustration to dis disappoint us. And so failure and frustration and disappointment set the parameters for our faith, thereby preventing God from blowing our minds and blessing us abundantly. The scripture tells us, as a man thinking, so is he. Therefore, when God wants to bless us abundantly and we get in a position to receive what God wants to do in our lives, then we got to undergo, check this out, a mind transplant that will empower you to do all that God will have for you to do. Paul says you gotta be transformed out of what renewing of your mind. And when you do what God tells you to do, I'm gonna let you know that God will give you more than you bargain for. Paul was correct. 
So the 
the most fish in the deep water during the daytime. Peter knew you catch the most fish at night in the shallow water because the tide has brought those fish closer to the shore. And here's the real shout. Fish can see nets at night. So it's the daytime. And Jesus is asking Peter to do that, which is counterintuitive to his occupation. So what Peter does is engage in reckless obedience at the word Jesus gave him, and God blessed him before he made the man. Peter began to pull up the next. It was so heavy. Peter had called call for his boy James and John to come help him. He had got more than they bargained for. He experiences the catch that he should not experience because it was not the right time. It, it, it was such a major catch until Peter's boat could not handle the all the He had called for his boy James and John to come and help him out with the catch. However, because of Peter's obedience, it was even too much for James and John to handle. Can I give somebody a shout right now? Yeah. I'm gonna let you know that when you do what God tells you to do, God can bless you in such a manner until you have so much of an overflow that you have to share it with somebody else. If there's power in obeying the word of God, God is going to keep his word. If you touch that into the deep waters of life, and God told you to do it. God will bring you past everything God has for you. Because oh, yeah. so ultimately, God must be glorified, magnified, and exalted. But you better make sure it's God yeah. and not your selfish yeah. ambitions yeah. that make you do that. God yeah. tells you to do something. Yeah. You can't be wondering if you're qualified to do it, but you ain't. Right. Just do it anyhow. Yeah. Because the Lord told you to do it. You can't squander the opportunity. That God has in store for you. Yes, That's why you gotta have the word. And God's word tells me I'm the head and not the tail. God's word says, wait, it's he that's within me. It's he that's within the world. God's word tells me the first shall be last. And the last shall be first. God's word tells me that I am more than a couple. Jesus Christ, my Lord. God's word tells me no weapon that falls against me shall prosper. God's word tells me eyes have not seen, ear have not heard, neither have not yet into the heart of the being the things that God has prepared for him. God's word says that with God all things are possible. Y'all got to excuse me, my Mississippi is trying to slip out. I'm trying to change this thing. <laughs> and and I, I, I know, I know, I know that I'm in an alien church. And uh, I know I, I, I have some degrees and I should be by hitting me this way. But you got to excuse me because when I look back over my life, I have to testify that it not been for the Lord. On my side, ain't no telling where I would be right now. So, do I have anybody in the house that says, uh, I want to be a blessing uh, because the Lord has blessed me? Uh, and I have discovered uh, that I'm not saying that Jesus can and will change your predicament, uh, and He will change you in the process. Uh, because after Peter had this major connection, he realized he was in the presence of a holy man. But Jesus says, if you think this text is something, uh, wait until I'm finished with you. Uh, you ain't gonna only catch some fish, uh, but you're gonna catch men and women for the sake of God. Uh, and I believe I got a few folks in the house uh, that are afraid to admit that God can do more uh, than you imagine if you stick with his word. Uh, good evening, Sir James. Uh, I get a lot bless you real good. Uh, but if there ain't anybody here that knows, uh, God is born in the angels uh, to bless you because your mouth is imagination. Uh, God is ready uh, to give you more than you can handle. Uh, God will supersize a miracle uh, just to show God that he's God all by himself. Uh, God will blow your mind uh, just to show you what God's working with. Uh, I believe I've got a few folks uh, that are afraid to testify uh, when God does one of these things. 
There may be someone virtually who wants to join us virtually. We ask that your name box and ministers now be personally waiting on you. Amen. To receive them this time. As ministers, Father, we just need to lead us. And those of the church are now come. Come on. Don't let this opportunity ever be back. We went just Just look at somebody and say, Are you saying today? Look at somebody and say, Are you saying today? Give God praise for St. James, the 
Let the people say, hey. 